Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S2 Root.com for this week's Team Mobile Galaxy S2 ROM of the week. Do check out AOKP ROM. The latest version ships with the latest Android 4.4.4. Um, it is very nice and zippy, uh, and this is one of my go-to ROMs. And uh, you know, if you're having trouble with uh, any of your um, features on other AOSP ROMs, then definitely give this ROM a go. It is a very solid performer. Uh, really love this ROM. And the latest version comes with Android 4.4.4. And also, if you want additional performance, although it's fast, um, for playing like um, playing graphic-intensive games, uh, you can go ahead and install the Wild Kernel, which I did here, which will allow you to overclock up to 1.89 gigahertz. Let me show you how to do that. Go ahead and grab um, Trickster Mod, and uh, go ahead and go to the General tab here, and go ahead and go take the maximum to the maximum 1.89 gigahertz and make sure you hit this button here uh, and then go ahead and play your favorite game or whatever and it should be a lot faster and uh, if for some reason if it uh, starts uh, rebooting um, sometimes it can happen you can try lowering out just a little bit to add 1.836 or even 1.782 uh, but uh, I haven't had any of those problems so you should be good to go I'm just telling you just in case and also with Trickster Mod, once you set this, every time you reboot, you may have to reset it unless you go here and set uh, kernel settings on. Um, now, what is AOKP? AOKP ROM uh, is basically stands for Android Kang Open Source. This is one of the first custom ROMs uh, back in the day um, that started, you know, um, started with the ROM control, uh, giving users the options to customize their phone. And uh, this is actually probably the ROM where all the other ROMs evolved around. So this is definitely one of the coolest ROMs. And you know, it is great that there's still developers de developing uh, this ROM for the T T989. Um, otherwise, you wouldn't be able to enjoy it. Uh, with the latest version here, um, you will be able to find all of your stuff by swiping to the right uh, here. And uh, this is similar to some of the other ROMs, uh, but let me go over all of the features for those of you new to custom ROMs and stuff. For those of you who know how to do this, um, you can go ahead and skip all this. Go ahead and uh, try the ROM along with the kernel. And let me go ahead and show you here. General, uh, recent RAM bar, uh, wake up on charger. Um, that's pretty standard stuff. Recent RAM bar is that one there in your recent RAM bar. Those are enabled by default. Uh, in your lock screen, you'll be able to uh, wake your screen with the volume rockers if you want to. Um, I don't find that feature particularly helpful, but you can go ahead and use it. Volume music controls when your screen is off. You can go ahead and control your music. Transparent lock screen. Um, this is sort of fun. And this is good um, you know, if you want to hide the data behind your lock screen there. Uh, with the blur. Uh, battery arc handle, I usually leave those on uh, rotate lock screen. Um, this way you can also tell the battery like that and you'll be able to get uh, lock screen rotated. Very nice stuff. And let's go look at lock screen notifications. This is one of my favorites. Definitely leave, leave these on. Um, this will actually show you the notifications um, right along there. Ooh. See that? Um, this one, you can get rid of this. Uh, let me show you how to get rid of that. Sometimes it happens with some custom ROMs. Um, you can go ahead and go to developer options and disable hardware overlays. That should fix any kind of problem. There you go, quick fix there. So if you see anything uh, dithering or something, you can go ahead and fix it there. I'm not sure why it's happening right now when I'm making a video, but it shouldn't happen. Um, let me go ahead and show you the rest of the ROM control here. Uh, let's go into status bar, double tap to sleep, status bar, brightness slider. Uh, this is all pretty much standard stuff you'll find in most other custom ROMs these days, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep showing you everything you can do. Clock style, I like to keep it in the center. Uh, if you want AM, PM, days of the week, customize it like that. You can change the colors if you want. And you can even hide the battery icon to save you space. But how do you tell if you have battery? 
Um, you can go ahead and enable a battery bar. This one doesn't have it, maybe. Ooh. Um, that's what it's really for. But uh, we're going to go ahead and show it since I can't find it. Also, you can get network speeds there. And also, let's look at some of these toggles here. Um, you can go ahead and add many, many toggles that you want to add. A USB tether, NFC, um, immersive mode, all that good stuff. All right, next, let's look at some of the stuff that, uh, here we go, power menu here. Um, you can go ahead and enable screenshots and also screen recording. And also immersive mode. Um, there we go, you'll be able to see it here. Now, if you turn immersive mode on, um, you'll be able to get full screen where your status bar is gone like that. Um, and uh, if you want to get rid of it, you can simply do that. Um, makes it makes your screen slightly bigger. Um, so great way to make your screen a couple pixels bigger, or maybe like 20 pixels. All right, navigation bar. Uh, if you want to enable soft buttons here, go to settings here, uh, enable that there. I know sometimes um, you know you're some of your buttons can break over time. Um, the simplest way to fix that is actually to replace the buttons. It is actually pretty easy to do, but uh, if you don't, you know, if you just need the buttons like right now, um, you can definitely get the soft buttons working. Also, you can adjust the height there. And also you can put uh, up to five different buttons and even choose uh, custom icons if you want to. Um, also, what the short press does, long press does, double uh, press does. Um, so you can have a slew of uh, shortcuts to your favorite apps. Um, oops. Let's go back to it ah. here. And uh, let me go ahead and show you. You can actually set it to a custom application, uh, such as the camera there. Um, so a lot of ways that you can do that using the navigation bar. Uh, also, navigation ring. Now, these are the rings that pop up from the bottom. Ah, I keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. Uh, and you can customize these buttons instead of having just Google Now. But to make use of that, make sure you have a um, navigation bar on. Otherwise, you will not be able to use the rings. All right. I wish they did it so you could use it with the hardware, uh, hardware keys also. Um, other than that, there's a couple more stuff you can do. Uh, also here, you can change your animations um, to your liking. Um, so all of these different actions uh, will give you a different uh, animation. There we go. Now it's sliding from the left there. Uh, pretty standard stuff, auto immersive. Um, this will allow you to uh, make your screen bigger automatically, for example, for your browser, you probably want to get rid of the status bar and uh, have a bigger screen. And overall, I mean, it's not, AOKP has kind of evolved uh, into the standard of um, ROM. So definitely, if you have not tried this ROM, definitely give it a try. And uh, certainly, this is one of the most stable ROMs. So definitely give it a go for this week's ROM of the Week. And uh, do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Galaxy S2, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at uh, galaxyst2root.com. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.